welcome uh, president uh, in the media plaza uh, what Thank is uh, the purpose of the proposed bill what is well listen we are uh, in the whole world we're talking a, a lot about the rights of the individual we cherish the right of the individual yet on the other hand we are eroding and destroying the rights of the entrepreneur and the employer the legislature all over the world and also the labor courts allow themselves to erode the rights to destroy the rights of the entrepreneur and the employer and they do not understand the risk in doing that why is it important to push uh, for the adoption of uh, this bill if we want to build a strong economy we have to understand that economy is being built by the motivation of the individual to build a business. The individual goes out, takes his life saving, takes a loan from the bank, devotes years of hard work, and then he creates jobs. He also created the GDP of every nation. And then later on he understands that somehow he really doesn't have any basic rights. He should know what his rights are. So he should know if he's going to take a risk and contribute to the national economy. If you are going to kill the motivation of the individual, the national economy is going to be hurt very, very badly. And this is what we try to avoid. We will try to put a message all across the world today from this global organization. It's a global document saying to the labor courts, and saying to the legislature, be careful, you have really destroyed too much of the basic rights of the entrepreneur and the employer. You should not do that, because if you are doing it, you will hurt the national economies, because all of the national economies depend on the motivation of the individual to build a business. What types of business are targeted by this bill? Well, first of all, we really define, and I want you to understand, this is not a theoretical document. This is a document based on a lot of experience. Now, proprietary rights of the employer are being eroded by the labor court and the legislature. The right of freedom of contract is also being eroded. Then also the right of any employer to form and shape a structure of employment according to the changing conditions in the market, is also being restricted. And sometimes we have a retroactive taxation. And in addition to that, there is a trend of criminalization, matter that should be within a civil cases, they make it a criminal offense. It is very dangerous. Thank you for the important, important bill. Thank you. That's right. Quite right. Bye.